In this section, we're going to look at the Roman symbols. Now, the Roman numerals are based on the following symbols. For the number 1, we have I. 5, we have V. 10, we have X. 50 is L. 100 is C. 500 is D. And 1000 is M. So please make sure you note the Roman numerals. Now, there's some basic combinations we should be aware of. For 1, it's I. For 2, it's II. For 3, it's III. And here is the difference. For number 4, notice it's written as IV instead of 4 I's. The I in the front means we have to subtract from V, which is 5. Since the I is on the left side of the V, we subtract from 5, 1. So that's 5 minus 1, which gives us 4. For 5, we have V. And then as soon as the I is on the right side of the V, we start adding. So for 6, it's 5 plus 1, or VI. For 7, we have VII, because it's 5 plus 2. For 8, it's 5 plus 3, which gives us 8. So again, if the number is on the left, we subtract from that number. So 4 is 5 minus 1. And here, if the number is on the right, we add. So it's 5 plus 3 here to give us 8. For 9, we write it as ix, because 1 minus 10 gives us 9. For 10, we have x. 20 is just xx. 30 is 3x's. But as soon as we get to 4x's, we don't write it like that. We want to write it instead as xl because this is 10 subtracted from 50. Again, if the smaller number is on the left side, we're going to subtract from the larger number. So this is 50 minus 10, which gives us 40. 50 is just L. LX would be 50 plus 10, which gives us 60. LXX is 50 plus 20, that gives us 70. And then for 80, we have 50 plus 30, which gives us 80. Now for 90, again, we write it as XC because C represents 100. And X represents 10, so 100 minus 10 gives us 90. So please remember that if the smaller number is on the left, we're going to subtract from the larger. If it's on the right, you're going to add to the larger. Now let's look at the Mayan system. It's a vigisimal system and it's written vertically. What does vigisimal mean? It means a base 20 system, but it's not quite a 100% base 20 system. Instead of having 20 to the 0, 20 to the 1, 20 to the 2nd, 20 cubed, and so on, it's written differently. Their base system starts from 20 to the 0, that's on the bottom. Then they go to the next step, which is 20 to the 1. And then we're going to go to the third step. Instead of 20 squared, they use 20 times 18. So their system is a modified base 20. They're not really base 20 because this should be 20 squared. Instead, they use 20 times 18 for the third step. Now, why do they use 20 times 18? It's because it's in their tradition. 20 times 18 gives us 360, and in their calendar they had 360 days, so that's why they chose 20 times 18. The next step is 20 squared times 18, and the next step after that is 20 cubed times 18. So that's their numbering system. Not quite the perfect base 20 that we want, but it's a modified base 20, it's 20 to the 0, 20 to the 1st, then 20 times 18 instead of 20 squared, 
and then 20 squared times 18 instead of 20 cubed. So just be aware the Mayan system is a modified base 20 system. So let's look at an example with some Mayan numbers. Uh, notice here we have a zero. One is one dot, two is two dots, three dots is three, four dots is four, and this bar here is the five. So five plus one gives us six, six plus two gives us seven. For 19, we have three bars of five, which is 15, plus four more, that's how we get the 19. So let's look at an example of a Mayan number, and then we'll convert it to our system. Now let's consider this Mayan number and we'll convert it to our system. Now remember, their base system is a little bit different. It's written vertically, so start at the bottom. This is going to be 20 to the 0. This one's 20 to the 1st. And this one's different. This is 20 times 18. Now let's look at what this number is. This number is 5, 5, and 5. That's 15 plus three more, that gives me 18. So this translates into 18 times 20 to the zero. This one is a five plus a one, that's six. So this translates into six times 20 to the first, and this one's a two, so that translates to two times 20 times 18. Now we're going to have to write this number by adding it. So let's figure out what this is equivalent to. Remember, the Mayan system is written vertically. 2 times 20 times 18 is 720. 6 times 20 is 120. 18 times 20 gives us 360. So if I add all of these numbers up, I can figure out what this Mayan number is in our system and that number is 1,200. So this is equivalent to 1,200 in Mayan. So we know a little bit of Roman and a little bit of Mayan, so let's figure out how to do the worksheet. Let's try section 3.1b. Question number one, write each Hindu Arabic number in the indicated numeration system. Question Part A, we have 437, and we want to write that in Roman. So I know this is equivalent to 437, so I need to first create 400. So let's create 400. I don't want to use C four times. I want to go with the larger one first. Let's use D. So we'll use D first, and then we'll put the C in the front. Since we did that, that creates 400. So CD is equivalent to 400. Now we need 30. 30 is just three X's. And then we'll need a seven. To make a seven, we'll need a five and two I's. So it's V and two I's. So this is our number 437. We created 400 first with the CD, we added 30 next, and then we added 7 to it, and that gives us 437. For part B, I want to convert 1, 2, 3, 6 into Mayan, so we'll have to look at their base system. Remember, they start with 20 to the 0, then 20 to the 1, then 20 times 18, then 20 squared times 18. So we have to figure out the largest power of 20 that goes into 1,236. This is equivalent to 1. This is equivalent to 20. 20 times 18, that's 360. 20 squared times 18 is 7,200. So I want to figure out what will be the largest number that goes into 1,236. So then that's going to be 360. So we'll take 360 and divide it into 1,236. 
and that goes in there three full times. Three times 360 is 1080. Subtract, I get a 156. Now, what does this tell me? It tells me that we have three 20 times 18s that fit into 1,236. Now we'll move down the next list, and that's 20 to the 1. We're trying to figure out how many 20 to the 1s will fit into this remainder. So we'll take 20, and we'll divide into 156. That goes in there 7 times. 7 times 20 is 140. Subtract, I get 16. And so now we know... So that tells me there are seven 20s that would fit into 156. Notice again, we took the remainder from the previous work and put it here to figure out how many 20s would fit into 156. Now we need to write our number in Mayan. So we'll make a three to make a three. That's three dots. To make a 7, that is a horizontal line with two dots. And to make a 16, that is three horizontal lines and one dot. So this represents 16, this represents 7, and this represents the 3. And so this is 1,236 written in Mayan. Now, if you're not sure what we did, here's what we did. We did 1,236 is equivalent to 3 times 20 times 18 plus 7 times 20 to the first plus 16 times 20 to the zero. So these numbers here in our modified base 20 is written here, 3, 7, 16. In part C, we're going to write this number, 264 to base 8. Let's look at base 8. 8 to the 0 is equal to 1. 8 to the 1 is equal to 8. 8 squared is equal to 64. 8 cubed is equal to 512. Now I'm going to start with the highest power of 8 that goes into 264, and that's going to be 64. So 64 dividing into 264, I know that's going to go in there 4 full times. So I can multiply 4 times 64, and that's 256. Subtract, I get an 8. Now I'm going to use that remainder and figure out what next power of 8 goes into there. I know 8 goes into 8 one time. Subtract, I get a remainder of 0. Now here are my numbers that I need. So 264 is equivalent to, we know there is 4 times 64 in there. So this is 4 times 8 squared plus 1 times 8 to the first plus 0 times 8 to the 0. Again, these numbers are 4, 1, 0, 4, 1, 0. So now, how is this written in base 8? Well, this is our answer. 4, 1, 0. Base 8, we put a little symbol here that says 8, is equivalent to 264 in our system. For part D, I'm looking for 21 written in base 2. So let's review base 2. 2 to the 0 equals 1. 2 to the 1 equals 2. 2 squared equals 4. 2 cubed equals 8. 2 to the 4th equals 16. 
2 to the 5th equals 32. Now, I know 2 to the 5th is way too big, so we're going to start with 16. We're going to ask how many 2 to the 4ths actually fit into 21. So let's take 16, divide it into 21. 16 goes into 21 once, subtract, I get a 5. Now we'll go down the list. Let's try 2 cubes. How many 8s will fit into 5? Well, that's 0. Then we'll go down to 4. How many 4s will fit into 5? Well, that's 1. Subtract, I get a remainder 1. And now we'll ask, does 2 go into 1? No, it doesn't. It, it goes in there 0 times. And then finally, 2 to the 0, which is 1. We have a remainder of 1 here. Now this is critical. We're going to box our quotients in and the very last remainder. So what does this say? What this is saying is our solution is 1 0, 1, 0, 1 in base 2. This is our solution in base 2. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 is equivalent to 21 in base 2. Now, if you're still confused, think about it in this fashion. I can rewrite 21 as 1 times 2 to the 4th plus 0 times 2 cubed plus 1 times 2 squared plus 0 times 2 to the uh, 2 to the 1 plus 1 times 2 to the 0. So remember our system is in base 2. This is where the 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 comes from. And that's why this number in base 2 is equivalent to 21. We checked how many 2 to the 4ths will fit in there. There's only one. We checked how many 2 cubes will fit in there. There's none. We checked how many 2 squares will fit into 21. There's only one. And how many 2 to the zeros we have. There's one. And if you do the calculation, you do get 21. Question number two, write each number in Hindu Arabic numeration system. So for part A, we have this is written with a 20 to the zero for the first one. The next one's 20 to the first. And the third one here is 20 times 18. Now I know this number is equivalent to 17. So I'm going to multiply 17 times 20 times 18. This is a 0, so we'll do 0 times 20 to the 1. This is equivalent to this is equivalent to 13, so we'll do 13 times 20 to the 0. So we can write 17 times 20 times 18 plus this is just going to give me 0 plus 13 times 20 to the 0. So let's type this in a calculator. This is 6,120 plus 0 plus 13. And that gives me 6,133 as our solution for part A. For part B, we'll look at a Roman numeral and convert that to Hindu Arabic. We have CM is equivalent to 900. That's 1000 minus 100 gives me 900. I have these three X's which is equivalent to 30 and IV that is 4. So this can be added together to get 934. For part C, we're going to convert from a base 2 back to our system. 
So what I like to do is look at the exponents that we need with a base of 2. This is a 0. This is an exponent of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since this is in base 2, I'm going to rewrite this as 1 times 2 to the 6th because of this exponent of 6 plus 0 times 2 to the 5 plus 0 times 2 to the 4th plus 1 times 2 cubed plus 0 times 2 squared plus 1 times 2 to the 1 and plus 1 times 2 to the 0. This gives us 64 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. And so my solution is 75. Again, this is base 2. So we're writing everything in terms of a base 2 where each of these numbers represents that position. So there's 1, 2 to the zeros, there's 1 to the first, there's 0, 2 squareds, and so on. For part D, this is base 6. So I want to look at the exponents. This is going to be an exponent of 0. You always start at 0. This will be an exponent of 1. This is an exponent of 2, 3, and the last one is an exponent of 4. So for part D, I can rewrite this as 3 times 6 to the 4th. It's base 6, remember, plus 4 times 6 cubed plus 5 times 6 squared, plus 5 times 6 to the 1, plus 2 times 6 to the 0. Using my calculator, this is equivalent to 3,888 plus 864 plus 180 plus 30 plus 2. And finally, our solution is 4,964. So 4,964 is equivalent to 34552 base 6.